Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Tuesday the 27th of October. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender, I'm the Senior Pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Northampton. Thanks for joining me today, I trust that you're well and safe. It's a blustery day here in grey, but at the moment anyway it's dry and I trust that wherever you are you're safe and warm today. Let's begin our time of prayer together as we just take a moment to remember that whenever we gather in the name of Jesus as two or three and whether we're separated by distance today or um, or whether there's uh, other things that are keeping us apart as human beings um, whenever we gather in Jesus name he's with us so let's bow our heads thank God for his promise and let's pray Some verses from Psalm 119, beginning to read at verse 89. The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You've established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand together, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my misery. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lion waits to destroy me, but I consider your decrees. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Thanks be to God for his word. Let's pray together. Our Lord God, we come to you knowing that our words are inadequate, but that your spirit can express our deepest desires. And we praise you that there is profound love and sympathy in your heart. You are always more ready to listen than we are to pray. So Lord God, pour your life into us this day that we may have a greater desire for your glory we want our lives to overflow with your joy we praise you that we can offer our worship and prayers in the name of jesus christ our lord gracious god we confess to you our shortcomings and our sins how slow we are to do good How easily we are deceived by the passing values of the world. How weak is our hold on things which are eternal. How glibly we blame and criticise others. How slow we are to blame ourselves. In your mercy, Lord, forgive us. Give us your pardon. Give us liberty. Help us not to be slaves to insecurity, doubt and guilt. But help us to claim your promises as we confess our sin. May Almighty God forgive us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Give us time to amend our lives. Bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the moment we're reading through some of the chapters in the middle part of the Gospel according to Matthew. Today we read in chapter 12, beginning to read at the 38th verse. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For just as Jonah was it three nights and three days in the belly of a sea monster, so for three days and three nights the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented of the proclamation of Jonah. And see, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, 
because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon and see something greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place, but it finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it empty, swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there, and the last state of that person is worse than the first. So it will also be with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside, wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Thanks be to God for his word. In this passage, we have some confusing imagery that Jesus uses, the sign of Jonah, the sign of uh, Solomon, and something about um, evil spirits, which is uh, speaking directly to some of the uh, folklore of that time about um, evil spirits and um, illness and their, their effect on people understanding what was going on at that particular time and then we have that concluding passage where Jesus makes clear that his true family is his disciples and whoever does the will of God is counted in God's family the sign of Jonah was about repentance the sign of Solomon is all about his wisdom and the queen of the sheep of queen of sheba coming to visit him because he was a wise man but one's emotional um, health one's emotional or academic intelligence are not those things that are most important when we come to think about who is part of God's family because even as we read about unclean spirits and those who are affected as it were by what we might describe today as mental health issues the most important thing for belonging to the family of God is doing his will you know it's not even about for us today who follow Jesus whether or not we have been and god willing will be able to turn up at church for events meetings or services the fruit for which god looks in our lives of obedience is the overwhelming characteristic of those who are part of god's family who have the ability to serve god love god and love others and serve others out of an awareness and a confidence that they are God's children. And so our challenge today is to go into the day confident that the Lord has called us to be his family. And whatever may uh, befall us in society and whether we live in a, in a generation that's turned its back on God or whether we are afflicted by um, health issues emotional or physical we belong to god and we have the presence of jesus with us every day let's confess our faith we use the words of the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father, that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's bring our concerns to the Lord now in prayer. Let's pray together. All seeing God, teach us to be open with you about our needs, to seek your support in our trials and to admit before you our sin, and to thank you for all your goodness, for Jesus' sake. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we remember some of the difficulties facing Christians in Central Asia, we pray today for believers in China and in Chinese-controlled territories who are members of the Uyghur uh, people group. We're aware that many Christians are expelled from their homes and their families and some are taken into detention centres when they refuse to renounce Christ. We pray that they will be able to return home and that they may continue to bear a strong and faithful witness to Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the work of BMS World Mission in Sri Lanka, and in particular for those who are seeking to take care of the environment in that island state. And utilising opportunities through the Eco Challenge Fund. We pray that ongoing community development work in Sri Lanka and Child Protection Ministry may, be, may, may bear fruit as faithful witness to Jesus is offered. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for ourselves and for those who we know and love in a moment of silence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for you are good and your love endures forever. We thank you that you've heard our prayers and set us free. We thank you that you are with us and we need not be afraid. We thank you that you've answered us and become our salvation. So may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us and with those whom we love with God's people everywhere today and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you and keep you safe. Uh, a reminder that tomorrow there'll be another in our words for the week brought to us by Andrea Smith, one of our church elders. And that will be available online from 12 noon. And until we meet again for prayer tomorrow, goodbye and God bless.